Imagine this, an engineer is working on the low voltage switchgear maintenance uh, and accidentally he touched a live part. Well, in such scenario, we can experience the worst condition, maybe the loss of life. This can be saved with the help of internal separation forms. Internal separation forms in low voltage switchgear are one of the crucial components of the low voltage switchgear. It basically defines the amount of safety that low voltage switchgear can provide to the persons working in the vicinity of that. In this video, we are going to understand what is the internal separation forms and what are the different types of forms defined by the IEC standard. First, let us understand what is this internal separation form. So if you look at the simple definition of that, it says in low voltage switchgear, an internal separation form refers to the level of physical separation between the bus bars, functional units uh, and terminals within the switchboard typically achieved using the barriers or partitions. So very simple as the name suggests the separation form. So what we will do with the help of this separation form, we will separate the different components of the low voltage switchgear. Like there are different components or different uh, parts that we use in low voltage switchgear. Like there will be air circuit breaker, there will be MCBs, there will be MCCBs, there will be bus bar uh, that is running from the switchgear. And with the help of some physical barriers, like maybe it can be some insulating material, some plastic material, we will separate out each component, each compartment. We'll separate out the bus bar, we'll separate out uh, the circuit breakers, we'll separate out the MCBs with the help of these internal separation forms. And those barriers uh, are nothing but the internal separation forms. The standard name, the technical name for that is internal separation forms. The purpose of this, the very purpose of having this internal uh, separation form is to have the safety while working. Not only safety, but let's say there are some fault, internal fault has occurred in the uh, switchgear, within the switchgear, then it should not go from one compartment to another compartment. That uh, protection is also provided by this internal separation forms. Safety certainly uh, is on the top of the list because nothing is more expensive than that of the human life and IEC standard has defined four different four major categories for the separation form so there is form one uh, form two form three and four of course the form one category offers the least amount of safety and form four offers the highest amount of safety now the selection of this form depending on where we are installing the low voltage switchgear the application of uh, the switchgear based on that it can be defined where we need the highest amount of safety we cannot have the downtime in the plant or anything uh, there we can go with the highest amount of safety that is form 4. Now what is the definition of uh, this how, how the categorizations are made uh, now I'll show you that with one of the video that was published in low voltage switchgear level 1 course that I have. Now this course is the basic foundational course which is must to have if you want to learn about the low voltage switchgear. The course will teach you everything that you need to know as a level 1 candidate uh, for the low voltage switchgear. It will give you all the details of the basics of low voltage switchgear, the terminologies that we use, uh, the different configurations that we have and introduction to the IEC standard. Now along with uh, me in this course we also have uh, R&D director of one of the company Mr. Anton Shiloh who will also share his experience and uh, he will also teach uh, in this course along with me. So certainly this is one course uh, that you cannot miss if you want to solidify uh, the basics of the low voltage switchgear. I'll put link for it down in the description you can go and check it out more details about this course. For now, let us go and understand the different four forms that we have. So as I mentioned, uh, IEC standard has defined the four forms. Let us start with the first one, which is called as form one. So it defines that the switchgear will not have any sort of internal separations. Again, this is very important. What we are talking is internal separations. We are not talking anything outside the switch uh, switch gate, anything outside the metal enclosure. We are talking the separations within the uh, switch gear. 
So when it says, or when the switchgear says it's a form one, that means there is no internal separations. You can see uh, uh, these vertical bus bars are open. Uh, this uh, MCCBs are open. Even I can touch this middle part. I can touch this bottom part. There is no separation provided. It is the very, very plain form and it offers the least amount of safety. So that is form one. Then we have form two, which states uh, there should be a separation between horizontal vertical bus bar and functional units. So you see, I've covered the blue portion. What is highlighted is uh, the separation forms or it's the separator. Now the material for that could be sheet steel or any insulating plastic material, uh, which is by the way, depend on the type tested design. So uh, it could have a stainless steel also, or it could have some plastic um, insulating material also. So when it is, state, it is stated that form two, it means it is providing the separation between horizontal and vertical bus bar. So you can see uh, these bus bars are covered. When Now if I compare it with the previous image, you see these bus bars were open. But with form two, uh, these bus bars are covered. So that is form two separation. Then the third type of form is form three. What it states, uh, it should have form two separation plus separation of functional units from each another. So you see here, this is one my functional unit. It is separated from the top one. The top one is separated from this one. Similarly, this MCCB is separated from this one and this bottom MCCBs are also separated from this one. So whatever is there from form two will remain. Additionally, I also have to separate my functional units. So it doesn't matter how many functional unit I, I have, it must be separated with the separation forms. Again, just to show you the difference, you can see here, there are no separations provided between these functional units. So these are the three functional units. It's blank, nothing in between. But when we go to form three, uh, these are separations provided. So form two plus separation of functional unit forms one another from one another is equal to form three. Again, when it come when we compare it with the form two, form three obviously provides higher amount of safety. Then the fourth form and the highest amount of safety is provided by form four. What it says, it should have form three plus separation of the terminals of the functional units from one another. Now, uh, locating the difference here can get tricky. So what you have to do, focus on this part here. This is where the terminals are being connected to the MCCBs. You see, for this form four, we have separated this. But if I go one slide back, it is open here. There is no separations. There is no form provided here. But for form four, there is a separation provided. So very clearly, IEC state, if it is form four, then it means it has to have form three uh, separations plus separation of the terminals of the functional unit. So everything is insulated. All the terminals of all the functional unit are insulated from one another. And those are the four important forms defined by the IEC. Now, in these forms, there will be subcategories also form 4A, 4B like that. But we are not going to talk about that. Uh, this That is something will come into level two because that is uh, a little advanced. Uh, but these are the main four forms defined by the IEC. Obviously, the form four provides the highest amount of safety for the switchgear, but your cost of switchgear is also linked with that. So uh, the choice is you have to make very cautiously the amount of safety that you want. Uh, and based on that, you have to you have to make a decision. Now, again, I would like to invite Anton here to talk more about uh, the separation forms. Anton, over to you. Internal separation of forms is a very interesting uh, topic to discuss, especially for, for switchgear design, type testing, and the maintenance. Uh, and uh, at this moment, uh, you just need to uh, remember and, and understand that for heavy industrial applications like big power plants, uh, like uh, steel plants, like other big uh, factories, 99% uh, of switchgears are demanded to be at least with the form three uh, of internal separation. This is actually because of, uh, mm, let's say often uh, maintaining jobs that should be done on the switch gears, like repairing, changing of some circuit breakers or other equipment. So 
if we have a higher separation form like three or four, uh, so our staff, the staff, I mean, the people who are maintaining the switch gears, they are safety. Uh, they could do their job in a safety conditions without interruption of technological processes, which are very crucial, especially in some oil and gas industry. Uh, when, if you, let's say, have a, a lack of power for one hour, the plant is using like $1 million during this hour because of lack of electricity. Well, you can access the full video and all the content on the basics of the low voltage switchgear in, in my course, Low Voltage Switchgear Level 1. I'll put the link for it down in the description. Certainly, uh, it has helped a lot of students, a lot of global candidates. So it's not only limited to one particular region, but we have had uh, a lot of candidates coming in from all across the world. So definitely go and check it out if you want to solidify, if you want to make uh, the basic understanding of low voltage switch gear concrete, then this is the one stop solution. You will get all the uh, details, you will get downloadable notes, you will get uh, the questions and answers asked by the different student in this course. So it's a very vast course and will help you in understanding all the details, all the basics of the low voltage switch gear. One stop solution to master the basics of low voltage switch gear. That's all for this video guys, uh, I'll see you in my next one but till then, keep watching, keep learning.